Hi everyone! In this video I want to show you why getting darker values matter if you want to draw realistic. I'm going to draw two eyes and for one I will only be using just one HB pencil and for the other eye I will use three different graphite pencils and a black colored pencil. All of the materials I am using are listed under the video. I start by drawing the sketch of both eyes and I will draw two of the same eyes so you can see the difference when we start the shading. When you are sketching you always want to use a light pencil like an HB because you want to be able to correct and erase easily if you need to. By the way, if you want to see me drawing this video in real time with commentary and the reference photo and my sketch available to download, you can go to patreon.com slash or click on the link under the video. Now normally I just use the HB to draw the sketch and when I start the shading I use a darker graphite pencil, but for now I will start shading this left eye using only the HB pencil. When I shade I always use light pressure because I want to build up the layers. If you start with hard pressure right away you will get a darker value but you won't be able to layer over it or erase over that layer easily if you need to. If you are a human you will make mistakes so you want to be able to correct when you need to. Train yourself to always use light pressure. It might take a bit more time this way, but I always say if you don't take the time and you try to rush, you will see that in your end result. It's also easier to build up the layers with light pressure and see if and where you need to go darker as you go instead of going too dark right away and then trying to correct that later on. Drawing should be a fun and creative process. It keeps your mind off other things, so try to enjoy the process and take your time with it. And don't be too afraid to make mistakes. Just start somewhere, start drawing, and making mistakes can actually be a good thing, but only if you choose to learn something from it. So you will make mistakes, but the next time you will improve yourself. Normally when I shade, I start with one pencil, usually the 2 or the 4B. Then for the next layer, I use a darker pencil like the 6B, and then the next layer an 8B, that's how I build up the layers gradually. Then if I need even darker values, I use the black pencil. Now I'm just using one pencil, so I'm trying to darken the values by layering, but eventually you can't get any darker. So for the last few layers with the HB pencil, I am using medium to hard pressure to darken some more, but you can only darken to a certain point. Now I don't want to say that drawing with just one pencil is wrong. Using one pencil to practice drawing and sketching is a great way to start. However, if you want to draw something realistic, you will need to get darker values. And you can't get that with just one pencil. So if you are just starting out and you just have an HB pencil at home, don't let that hold you back from starting to draw. You can practice a lot with that one pencil. Practice your sketching, practice drawing different objects, proportions, practice perspective drawing, practice different kinds of shading techniques like hatching, cross hatching and blending or smudging using a soft tissue or even a q-tip. And if you like drawing and you want to go a step further, then you can invest in buying a pencil set with H pencils and B pencils. 
so you can start practicing with shading and getting darker values. So for this eye, I started with the 4B graphite pencil with light pressure and now I move on to the 6B graphite pencil. Layering with more pencils will give you a more realistic look. And if you want to draw something realistic, it's also important to practice your shading and how to get a smooth transition from one value to another. You don't want to see any lines between the highlights and the midtones, or from the midtones to the shadows. You want to have a smooth transition. A great way to practice this is by drawing a sphere. This tutorial is also available on my Patreon. And if you don't know how to get smooth transitions, you should really practice with this first. Now I move on to the next graphite pencil, the 8B, and you see that the darker values already make a difference if you compare it to the first eye. I'm using Faber-Castell graphite pencils and the darkest is the 8B, but you also have other brands graphite pencils and some even have a 9B pencil. So you can use any brand you like. And if the brand you use has a 9B, or the graphite is darker than the 8B I use, you might not even have to use a black pencil for the darkest values. Try all of the pencils you have and see which values you get. Compare the values to your reference photo and see if you can recreate the darkest value you see in the photo. If you can't get that dark with your graphite pencils, then just use a black colored pencil to get the darkest values. I'm also drawing on watercolor paper. Since I recently started watercolors, I wanted to try this paper and see what kind of result I get with graphite. You can use different kind of medium on watercolor paper, like watercolors of course, but also graphite, charcoal, ink and more. When I compared the graphite on this paper, I've noticed that the graphite is a bit darker than on my Bristol Smooth paper. That's something I like because darker values means more realistic. Now this is hot pressed watercolor paper, so it doesn't have the texture you have with cold pressed paper. But if you compare this with the Bristol Smooth I normally use for my graphite pencils, this paper is a tiny bit more textured. But I actually like the result of not having it too smooth. Because, well, you know, skin isn't perfectly smooth. So depending on which look you are going for, you might want to try different paper as well. By building up the layers, you see that the drawing looks more and more realistic. The more layers and values you have, the more realistic. If you are not sure how dark you should go or which value you need, you can make a value scale for yourself. I also have a tutorial about how to make one for yourself. If you have a value finder, you can put this over your reference photo. For example, for the shadow under the eyebrow. Check with the value finder which value this shadow has. Then put the value finder over your drawing and see if this shadow has the same value. If it's too light, you can add another layer of graphite until you have the right value. Or if the value is too dark, you could use the kneaded eraser to gently pull up some of the graphite to lighten. Then go over it with a soft tissue to smoothen the graphite layer. Now I'm adding the final details with the black pencil. 
and making sure all of the values are dark enough. Then I use a white acrylic marker for the brightest highlights. This really makes a difference too. The highlights are just as important. You see a real difference between these two eyes and now you know that if your drawing still looks a bit flat and not realistic enough, then just add values. Darken those values in the right place. I really hope you could learn something from this video. If you did, give it a like and let me know by leaving a comment. Also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. I'll see you next time. Bye!